sagt halleluja. Amen. Have your seat. God bless you. Amen. If the Lord has brought you here today, it must be that your miracle can no longer wait. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and sing this song louder than anyone around you. Hallelujah for the Lord God. Oh, in the potent rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
something new in my life. Something new in my life. Do something new. Silence now. All eyes closed. If you have found yourself in this meeting today, it must be that God specially loves you. Amen. Because very soon, the power of God will begin to move like popcorn. I want to pray for some people now. Please don't say anything because I'm the one doing the praying. Don't say anything. I want to pray for some people now. Father, I'm praying for those who are here now. And any time a good thing wants to happen in their lives, some battles start. Father, I'm praying that wherever such people are, the principality that is causing the problem should separate from their lives now. In the name of Jesus. Silence. 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 Anyone in this gathering whose stepmother or stepfather is hindering is or a marital breakthrough right there where you are the power blocking your marriage i bind them and i cast them out in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus that yoke placed upon your life by your former occultic boyfriend I break that yoke now in the name of Jesus now has the power of God coming upon you Silence. 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 
Look at what is happening over there. The serpent that is claiming that he's your husband. I bind the serpent and I cast the serpent out of your body now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. It's coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Strange voices speaking against my marital life. Shut up now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to silence them. They must be silenced. Bapata setendeka. In Jesus' name we pray. These next two prayers, the angels that are to perform it, they are already here. So it's dangerous to keep quiet. If you are a brother, you say, my divine wife. If you are a sister, my divine husband. Are you ready? My divine husband. Wherever you are. Hear the word of the Lord. Manifest. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Bopata sapiali katenda. That's right. Jesus is here. Bapola Katenda Rabosotolaba. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Hiding my divine husband. Da! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here today. Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha, aha, aha. I decree upon your life. That any power that says that your wedding bells will not ring, before you depart from this place, everyone shall bury them. 
Bakate setela kaya bo shentera ba. La ribo sepandi le katenda kaya bo shentera ba Santa. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Silence. Silence. Please don't say anything. Don't even say amen. Please just keep silent now. A strange operation is about to take place. A strange operation. You, the strange baby, planted inside that womb by the strange spirit husband. Hear the word of the Lord. That place is not your habitation. But Kapota Ribo Sendia. The strangers shall be afraid. And they shall flee out of the close places. Get out of that womb now. In the name of Jesus. It's happening. Silence. Any evil growth inside anybody's womb, hear the word of the Lord. That place is not your habitation. Come out in the name of Jesus. Silence. Father, anybody here today or linking with this program and domestic witchcraft, household witchcraft is in charge of your marital delay wherever you are receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this wonderful garden of your children. We thank you for what you have done already. We thank you for the testimonies that are going to abound. We thank you for the yokes that have been broken. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, all your children who are gathered here today, whatever blockage the enemy is presenting before anyone concerning marriage, let the blockage catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In louder amen. In louder amen. Before you sit down, I'd like you to be a prophet unto seven persons. Make sure you go to seven persons. Look at them straight in there. Say, my friend. The mouth that mocked you will turn around to congratulate you. In the name of Jesus, say it to seven persons.
Amen. Don't sit down yet. <laughs> Don't sit down yet. Look for seven persons again. Say, my friend. Anyone that belittles you. We belittle you as from today. In the name of Jesus. That's the seven persons. Now, what month are we in now? October is the 10th month. You look for 10 persons. <laughs> and you tell them, any evil bird flying against your marriage shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, say to t- tempest. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Obviously, God bless you. God bless you, may have your seat. I bring you greetings from my wonderful wife who is not here. But she has asked me to extend our love and regards to you here and to tell you that all shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Now listen very, very carefully to this message. Listen with your inner ear and your outer ear. I'm going to be purposely sluggish, slow, so you can grab every word that I'm speaking. This is a deliverance service. It's not an ordinary service. We are here to fight. The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. The Bible itself is a military book. From the first page to the last, it is a military book. It's not a book for civilians. Even the Bible says, our Lord is a man of war. So if the God you serve is a soldier, you, the children, cannot be civilians. We are here to do what? To fight. Fighting started from heaven. When Michael and his angels, they fought Lucifer and threw Lucifer out of heaven. And when they threw Lucifer out of heaven, there was peace. Whatsoever God needs to throw out of your life today to get peace, the Lord shall throw them out in the name of Jesus. I can say, sister here, you have come from a Muslim background and they gave you a name which is working against you. 
But in this program, the power of God has cancelled that agenda. Your marriage and your ancestors. Listen, that's why I say listen to me very carefully. You may not hear this kind of message again. That's why you need to listen. Your marriage and your ancestors, or if you like, your marriage and your ancestry. It's still the same thing. What did I say? Good. Ezekiel chapter 16. I read verse 4 to 6. Ezekiel chapter 16 from verse 4. Sisters, what's our topic again? Brothers. I'm introducing this to you so that you that's the major battle we need to fight now before we leave this place. Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 4. If you are there, say yes. He said, and as for thy nativity, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut. That is, you are still attached. Neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. Verse 6. And when I passed by thee, and I saw thee polluted in thy own blood, I said unto thee, when thou wast in the blood, live. Yea, I say unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. Verse 4 again. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou wast born, thy navel was not cut. It was still attached to the mother. And because of that, things flew into his life, flew into that life, that became a problem later. You see, Jesus said, you shall know the truth. And the truth you know shall set you free. The truth is a very powerful entity. But truth is useless to you if you don't know it. If you don't know truth, it's useless to you. The truth is of no value to a person who does not know it. Truth is a very, very stubborn thing. No matter how you try to kill it, it will stand. It doesn't matter how far the wrong road you have gone. The fact, the fact that you have traveled far on the wrong road does not make it the right road. It doesn't matter how many people are traveling on one road. The fact that plenty of people are traveling there does not make it the right road. This is why what you are going to hear today is a naked truth which you must keep. You shall know the truth and that truth you know shall set you free. Your marriage is of interest to heaven. Your marriage is also of interest to hellfire. Both of them are interested. Both hell and heaven are interested in your marriage. The enemy of our soul hates godly marriage with perfect hatred. And the enemy can go to any length to hinder or kill the right matches or kill the correct marriages. A lot of marriages have been caged even before the person who used to get married was born. And that becomes a strange battle indeed. One terrible power, one very terrible power that has caged marriages and that has had a lot of success in caging the marriages, they are called ancestral powers. What did I call them? Ancestral powers. 
Please listen to me very carefully. They are called what? Ancestral powers. What are ancestral powers? I will explain using some small illustrations. Many years ago, at the age of 37, a sister eventually found somebody who wanted to marry her. One week to the wedding, at Adekunle bus stop there by one chemist, they call cosmopolitan chemist, a bus ran into the would-be husband and he died on the spot. That was the end of the first attempt at marriage. At the age of 39, she, let me let me do it again. At the age of 37, she found somebody. One week to the wedding, this person she found came back to her and told her that she does not want to go ahead with the wedding. And the sister said, "What is the reason for this?" He said, "Because you are too short." And they said that short people are bad. <laughs> and the sister said, "But we have been cutting for a while." And you have always known that I'm a short person. Say, so, well, that is semantics. That's English. I don't want a short woman. Finish. That was the end of the first attempt. 39, she found somebody else. That was the person that was killed at the bus stop one week to the wedding. The first one happened one week to the wedding. The second one happened one week to the wedding. At that level, somebody who has some small spiritual experience will have known that something was wrong. But they didn't know that things were wrong. Because they go to dancing churches. That's, that's where they were going. Many of us have wasted time in those places dancing away. Amen. That's what they do. Ignorance is a disaster. It is the grandfather of misfortune. And every man's mountain is the mountain of his ignorance. They just did not know. Are you following what I'm telling you? At the age of 41, she found somebody else. And this one, they went very far. Because they got to church. They got to church. And the wedding ceremony started. And those of you who are pastors here, you know there is a section in the wedding book that when you read this, you don't want to look up. Because you don't want trouble. Most pastors run through it quickly. That's the section that says, if there is anyone here, who has any reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony? Say so now or keep quiet forever. Normally, you stick your eyes to your book and quickly. But the rule is that immediately somebody says, Pastor, objection. You have to stop and listen to the objection. They got to that level. Anyone here who has any reason why these two should not be married, join in holy matrimony, there was a hand at the back. Say, Pastor, I object. Say, young woman, come forward. And the woman came forward, carrying a baby at the back, and drawing another one, drawing a child. And they got to the altar. Pastor said, yes, why are you objecting? Say, Pastor, first of all, look at the faces of these children. And look at the face of the man. The pastor looked. The one at the back. The one she was dragging. And look at the face of the man. Say yes. They look like photocopies. Say he is their father. And But pastor said yes. You could have children for a man. Doesn't mean you are married. Say, sir. Wait. She put her hand in her bag. Brought out a marriage certificate. Say pastor. We got married in England. So this, and this man has no right. 
to do this marriage. And that was the end of the third attempt at marriage. That was what drove her to Mountain of Fire. Was then the first question How many people are married in your family? She said, None. Nobody in that family has ever done any proper marriage. All of them just had children for men. So she, she wanted to break that rule. And the rule said, No, you have not settled me. I'm praying for somebody here. Any barrier against your marital life I break it to pieces in the name of Jesus Light shall ever roar like thunder Amen Amen Sit down If a very good follower of history you will have read about the tragedy of the Kennedys in America uh, they're just killing them, killing them, dying mysterious death those, those are the ancestral paths we're talking about if you're even following what is happening in England now the queen, her children her marriage and all those things you can see it's a power this woman that could not marry after three attempts, the power behind it is what we call ancestral powers. There was another case of a woman. She came complaining, she was married. She came complaining that, excuse me, sir, my husband does not go to work. Every morning, he will wake up, take his bath, brush his teeth, eat his breakfast, cross his legs, he's watching CNN. Madame is going to work, walking. And when he's getting close to Christmas, he said, my dear, is it good that your husband should follow you to church in short nikah? So, so Christmas clothes for your husband. Oh. When this woman came for prayer, are you following me? She came for prayer. First question. How many daughters does your father have? He said, We have five. How many of you are married? He said, I'm the only one. So she has broken the rule. The ancestral powers are battling to see that she complies with this demonic regulation. The ancestral power is battling that she complies with the satanic injunction. Every satanic injunction against your marriage, I bury them now. But in the name of Jesus, let a man rule like thunder. Whatever power was affecting the husband of that woman was the ancestral powers. Something happened at Press City. <laughs> Listen to me. This woman lived in Jamaica. She is not a Nigerian. But she had a strange situation. Whether she was asleep, whether she was awake, a man is sleeping with her. Whether she's open her eyes or sleeping or awake, something is going in and out of her body. Somebody is sleeping with her. So she looked for a solution. She went to her pastor in Jamaica to complain. Say, Pastor, I'm sorry, but this is embarrassing. As beautiful as I am, nobody is coming to say hello. And Pastor, somebody is having sex with me, whether I'm sleeping or awake. Even as I'm talking to you now, I'm feeling it. The pastor said, uh, Have you been to the hospital? She said, yes. So what did they say? Say they gave me psychiatric drugs. But I know that I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I know what I'm saying. 
So she now went online, began to search, began to search. That's how she found Mountain of Fire. She bought a ticket and came down to Lagos by herself. She found a way to press city here by herself. This woman has two degrees in English language, two degrees in theology. She has masters in theology. So she got to press city. She joined the deliverance. I don't know what's ministry the daddy, one of our deliverance ministers said. That one said, every power of spirit husband die. The man said, ha -ha. what kind of place is this? Don't they know their Bibles? How can they be commanding spirit to die? So a theological mind took over. But something told her, don't, why don't you pray it? That's why you came all the way. So she closed her eyes. So okay. Every power of spirit husband die instantly. The Lord opened her eyes. And before her was this giant man with a male organ as big as that of a horse standing before her. And as she was saying, every power of spirit husband die, she found that the ground opened. And this man was going inside. Amen. Whenever she stopped the prayer, the man will stop sinking. When she continues, the man will begin to sink again. When she saw that that was what was happening, all other prayer points they are calling. <laughs> She was, she was not interested again. Die, 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 die. Until the thing entered the ground and closed up. And that was the end of a 25 years problem. The, the testimony that she got married last year. At 42. Because of these strange powers. That's when I said we are here to fight. Some of you don't know what you are battling against. It's these powers. And central powers. I just gave you some small illustration to know what they do. And how they can affect you. Let me share one more so you so you understand me very well. Are you still following me? Yeah. I was in Abuja. Two thousand, I think two thousand and one. Yes, our church in Abuja. We are about to close a meeting like this, and there was a word of knowledge. There is a lady here. You are. There is a serpent troubling you. But by the time you get home, that serpent will be dead. That was the word of knowledge. I did not even remember I said it. There was a lady in that meeting. She was 39 years old. She was a virgin. Nobody has ever said I love you. Even the useless boyfriend and girlfriend of secondary school, nobody showed interest. Because all those boyfriend, girlfriend of secondary school, you will have discovered that I just use less exercises now. Where are they now? They've gone. They just used you as a toy and went away. Nobody. It's as if she did she was she did, she did not exist. She was in that meeting. When she had the word of knowledge, she just said a dry amen. 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 <laughs> and went back home. She lived right in the center of Abuja. Four story building. A flat was on the top. No bush, no forest. When she got into her room after the prayer meeting, she saw that something was lying on that bed. 
and her bed clothes was on top of the thing. The head of the thing was on her pillow. She ran back. <laughs> she was scared. But something told her, say, look here. You are coming from a prayer meeting of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry and you are afraid? So she tiptoed to the bed. Took the bed clothes, whipped it off. Beloved, on that bed was a python. A huge serpent. The head of the serpent was on a pillow, but the serpent was dead. It was so huge, nobody could say, Take the serpent away. He's drag the serpent away. It, they had to drag it. Meaning that every night when she slept, there was a husband on that bed. But she's not seen the husband. It was a serpent. Six months later, she was married. When we question her, we found that she came from somewhere in the down down side of this country where people don't kill snakes. That's where she came from. So they've attached a serpent to marry her for life. I'm praying for somebody here. If there is any agent of darkness unconsciously marrying you, I divorce them now. In the name of Jesus. Let our Emma rule like thunder. Sit down. If you are following me, say yes. yes. Bottom line. Every man or woman is a product of all his ancestors. As you are sitting down there, your genes, your genes that is present in every cell of your body has been accumulated over the years from your ancestors. When a mango fruit falls down from the tree of mango from mango tree it doesn't travel far because it's on that mango it dropped it's the same thing you are a product of your ancestors the platform that many of our ancestors have laid down for us requires violence to be free so your ancestry can pollute you can defile you can trouble your destiny. So it's a serious matter. Very, very serious matter. What are these ancestral powers? They are powers that are in charge of a family from one generation to another. They are in charge of that family from one generation to the other. That's why in some families, marriages never work in some families teenagers always get pregnant in some families the women always marry wizard and the men always marry witches in some families it's high blood pressure in some families it's insanity these powers are in charge of a family from one generation to the other what are these ancestral powers? They are powers assigned to a family to steal, to kill, and to destroy. What are these ancestral powers? They are powers assigned to afflict a family. What are these ancestral powers? They are the strong men 
assigned against a family. A strong man can be assigned against marriage in a family. A strong man can be assigned against finance in a family. A strong man can be assigned against the health of a family. That is the ancestral power. What are these ancestral powers? They are the powers behind collective captivity. When everybody in the family is passing through the same thing, through the same thing, through the same thing, those are the powers that are causing it. What are these ancestral powers? They are powers assigned to discipline anybody in the family violating a covenant your forefathers have entered into. It did discipline anybody in the family violating a covenant your forefathers have entered into. Many of our ancestors, if not all of them, if you're a black person, they did not serve the living God, they served the devil. Many of them have made promises, they made all kinds of things that are affecting us now. Some of you who are in Lagos here, it is not impossible that in your village now, your parents are still going to the idols and they are submitting your name. They say, well, I'm here, I've brought this sacrifice for you because of my children, including those who are in Lagos, and you don't know about it. What are ancestral powers? They are powers sponsoring repeated evil family history. Repeated evil family history. What are these ancestral powers? They are what we call bloodline demons. They just transfer. They go. They go. They go. These are the powers. They have done havoc. And they are still doing havoc. Let me tell you one secret. By the time you remove the hands of ancestral powers from your life, 90% of your trouble they are over. That's the truth. Several years back, you might have heard me sharing this. I prayed with a pastor. The pastor was 70 years old. This pastor had been pastoring churches for 50 years. He started to pastor before I was born. But now, at the age of 70, this old man who is a pastor was caught in his office fornicating with a girl of 20. And this girl is younger than his own last daughter. So at the age of 70, they had to suspend him from work. That's why he came for deliverance. And I asked him a simple question. Say, said, Pastor, are you from a polygamous home? He said, yes. How many wives does your father have? He said, 14. So, 14 wives. Plenty of women. How many children? Maybe he said, 40 something. What's your own number? Maybe he said, 20 something. So, the ancestral powers that pursued his father is now pursuing him too. Maybe you are here now. Your mother did not enjoy marriage. Maybe you are here now. Everybody in the family is marrying late. There is a power behind it. So when it's time to pray now, if you pray and you lose your voice and you deal with these powers, you have made a good bargain. The voice will come back. But if you stand as a gentleman or a gentleman today, it will be a terrible disaster. Now, listen very, very carefully. Now, I want to go into my deliverance research notebook to give you information so that you know how to pray when we start praying now. If you have come from an, a background of idol worship, you will be having marital 
blockages. The enemy will be blocking your marriage. You will be having wrong attraction. The wrong wrong people will be the one interested in you. Wrong wrong people. You you are a young lady of twenty something. Then people the age of your father they are the one interested in you. It's wrong attraction. You will be having close heaven. You just pray, pray, pray. It's as if heaven is blocked. As far as marriage is concerned, other areas you get a job, you get a good career, you get a car, you get a house. But when it comes to this issue of marriage, that is a close heaven. Check your background. Then, if if you are from a family of idolatry, you will be suffering from invisible syndrome. People don't even know you are there. They are just there. Nobody's. It's the men will just be passing you by. The women will be passing you by. Nobody shows interest. Nobody's interested in you. They just pass you by. Those that you believe you were more beautiful than more handsome than they are getting who they are getting married, but you are not getting anything. It's ancestral powers. Then there will be frustration and disappointment if your ancestors were into idol worship. Two, if your ancestors were into masquerades. You'll be having instability in your relationships. You'll be having stagnancy in your relationships. You'll be having the feeling of wearing a veil in your relationship. You can't really see through the man. The man too cannot see through to you. You are not true to each other. The man is telling you lies. You are telling the man lies. If you come from a family of masquerades. Also, if you come from a family of masquerade, there is what you have what to call vision blindness. You will pray, 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 and you will not be able to even see correctly whether you should marry this one, you should not marry this one. Three, polygamy. Are you following me? I'm giving you information from 40 years research. Polygamy. If you come from a polygamous home, you begin to notice jilting. Men will be jilting you. Because in the background for which you have come, there is multiple women, always multiple women. It's men who are interested in multiple women you'll be meeting. That will be jilting. Then there will be sexual weakness. At the age of 13, 14, 12, you've lost your virginity already. At the age of 23, 25, you can already count 20 men that have slept with you. It's the ancestral power of polygamy. You'll be having distress, marital distress, if you are from that background. Apart from that one, there will be general backwardness. General backwardness. In all areas, you find that you are under a battle, a warfare. Then you'll be having assorted partners. As this partner is going, that one is coming. This one is going, that one is coming. You say you want to marry a man, you start seeing strange text messages on his phone, you start seeing that he's going around with other women, it's not faithful, it's the effect of this ancestral powers. Then you have the taste and go spirit. They just sleep with you, and after sleeping with you, they lose complete interest, and they go away. If you are from that kind of background. I'm praying for somebody here today, that by the time you step out of here, Every blockage to your marriage will have been destroyed. Four. If you have come from ancestry of Herbalist, native doctors, or which some people call witch doctors. Be looking at your family as I'm talking now, so you know where the problem is coming from. That's the background from which you have come. You, the person will be noticing the stinking agenda. It's as if you are stinking the nose of people, they don't want you around. A person will be noticing constant failure, consistent spiritual attacks. And the person will be noticed that those who fancy you are those who are possessed. 
men who are possessed with all kinds of spirits are the ones who will be running after you if that is where your foundation is five marine worship if you have a, pro, a background of marine worship your mother was a marine priestess your grandmother was a marine priestess and you can notice worship of water in your family you are they're talking about olokun spirits they're talking about him or yes they're talking about mommy water in your background then you'll be noticing that you'll be having wicked partners partners that will be punishing you you'll be having marine attacks you'll be having marine partners in the dream and there'll be plenty of sexual looseness multiple sexual partners the person will be restless until he had committed immorality it's marine worship six slave trade if your ancestors were involved in slave trade don't be surprised if now men are using you as toys they are exploiting you all the men you get all the women you get are those who want to exploit you take your money waste your time take things away from you not putting anything back you believe in a hard life and sometimes even when the person is about to get married all of a sudden the partner could die untimely slave trade because all those slaves that were, they were being traded of that time as they were trading them off they were issuing curses on those who were doing it certainly if you are here and you come from slave ports places where they sold off slaves but that is one of them I bet Kota they sold off slaves some places in the east and so on all those all those uh, riverine areas close to the sea where they are cargoing slaves abroad you really need to pray that may be what you are battling now and you don't understand it seven occultism if your parents were into the occult they're always consulting this native doctor consulting that consulting this you when you grew up you met the jew in the house you met them doing fetish things they are putting decisions on your body don't be too surprised if now you find that some forces always divert you away from the right partner a woman came to my office many years back she cried bitterly i had to beg her to stop crying she said see my life now see i'm suffering ha ah, this is sad say madam what is the matter she now mentioned that somebody who has just been made a governor was the person who wanted to marry her before and that it was her mother who chased away the man now the man has become a a governor says so you see me now i'm supposed to, i'm supposed to be first lady but look at me now Profitless hard work if your parents were into the occult. Poverty if your parents are into the occult. The reason some the reason many men don't marry on time is because of poverty. Slippery partners. Partners will be just be, they will be slippery, they will, they will just be very slippery with you. And there will be wrong attraction. Eight. Stealing. If your parents were chiefs, chiefs, you know, <laughs> the reason some people are always having stomach trouble in their house is because their parents have been stealing spoons from people. The reason some people are having high problem in their house is because they are watching stolen television. Many parents actually steal. Maybe your father was working in a place, he was stealing. Your father was a policeman, he was taking bribe. All those things. He was a judge, he was taking bribe. You'll be noticing, don't be too surprised if you are noticing incurable disease and failed relationships or stolen relationship you add a fiance somebody has stole a fiance away 
and that's happening a lot now. Or you have unserious partners. They are not serious. They don't want to don't really want any permanent relationship. You say, well, say I like you, but I don't love you. Now, bastard. If a person has come from a foundation of bastards, there will be unprofitable lives. There will be spiritual blindness. There will be no vision, no dream. You don't have a vision, you don't have a dream, and you have something scaring away the men, scaring away the women. There was a time, I think my wife was praying for somebody. To get married eventually uh, they found somebody you could propose to but the day the man wanted to propose to this woman he came with a large file of paper he was he was he was busy struggling with the paper and the wind were blowing the paper all over the place and he was busy picking papers so while the person he wanted to thought was standing it was standing there looking at him but nobody taught the lady to run away so, a lady is before you. You want to propose marriage. You have carried a big file. The file is on the floor. Wind is blowing paper. You are busy picking paper. <laughs> Ten. Local hunters. Have you come from a family where they are hunters? <laughs> don't, don't be too surprised. If now you are always struggling, struggling, and you have the kind of people, the kind of men you come across, the kind of women you come across, that those who are overprotective, so jealous, they stalk you about as if you are an animal. If they take your phone, they will check every phone for call you have made, they check all the text messages inside the place, they will come and smell your body. Over sensitivity, violent partners. Eleven, drummers. If you have come from a foundation of drumming, drumming, commercial drumming is always associated with poverty, lack of direction, over subscription. You are now over subscribed. This one say, I want to marry you. Second one say, I want to marry you. Third one say, I want to marry you. Fourth one say, I want to marry you. Sixth one say, I want to marry you. Seventh one say, I want to marry you. And you say, all of you together, I say, God told me, God told me, God told me, God told me. Say, ha, hey. Well, sometimes, all the God told me, God told me, is all lies. It's an attack. If you sound just I say, hey, what a lucky girl. It's a lie. You're not lucky at all. Financial drainers will be inside the life of a person if your foundation is in drumming. Part of the reason why we do not use drums in Mountain of Fire. Twelve, royal family. Perhaps you are here. Already you are putting prince, princess at the front of your name. God have mercy on you. So, <laughs> the only royal family you have is the family of God. From the royal family, don't be too surprised if your life now is like the life of fish in a bowl. You are living the life of fish in a bowl. You are inside the bowl, swimming around like a, inside an aquarium. People are watching you from outside. Just moving around but your, your vicinity is not more than the aquarium or you'll be meeting men who have kingship spirit you know the spirit of a king the king will just sit down and be commanding hello Jane good morning are you there say yes where you say I'm at work so when you are coming at work make when you are coming from work make sure you go to Kentucky fried chicken make sure you go to tasty make sure you go to Mr. Bix buy things for me on your way do you understand so hey yeah, apart from that one, I don't have credit on my phone. When you are coming by credit and bring it to me, do you understand? Say yes. And do you, you are not married and you are being commanded. It's ancestral. If 
you come from a royal family, don't be too surprised if you are overrated now. You are completely overrated. You, you look handsome, you look beautiful, you look rich, but they don't know that your brain is empty. They don't. Being overrated. It's when they now get closer and say, ah, hey, this one. Titoloto big bong bong aje koleja titoloto big bong bong This one is just big for nothing 13 incest incest there is incest in so many families that is relatives sleeping with each other it leads to marital failure. It leads to the spirit of hindrance. It leads to constant loss of interest in relationships. It leads to you meeting a man, meeting a woman for no reason at all. You just get fed up. Your parents may be interested, but you're just fed up. You, go, you don't know why, but you are fed up. And you want to try somebody else immediately. The incest spirit. There is something worse than ordinary incest. There is something called spiritual incest. Spiritual incest is when uh, a person is sleeping with his pastor, his counselor, his deliverance minister, his bishop, his Jew. That one is spiritual incest. The people are sleeping with their daughters in the Lord. That one is even worse. 14. Trading in alcohol or tobacco. You come from a background where they are trading in alcohol or tobacco. Those two things that spoil people's life. Don't be too surprised. If you have been harassed constantly by spirit husband. Don't be too surprised. If you are losing good relationship opportunities. Don't be too surprised. If you are always making wrong choices. Wrong choices. Wrong choices. You have not married somebody. You are still cutting. And it's already beating you up. So it means you are going, you are just going to die there. Fifteen. Town criers. Those who help the king to cry around town. If you are from that place. Don't be too surprised. If you are having turbulent relationships now. You are attractive, but no one is interested in you. Sixteen. Concubines. You come from a family where your father has concubines or grandfather had concubines. Don't be too surprised if now you are having unfaithful partners, slippery lovers, sugar coated mouth. They will talk and talk sweet, sweet, sweet things to you, but it's a lie. Don't be too surprised if there are so many women competing with the man you say you are interested in now. It's completely ancestral. 17. Cultural dances. All these are our dances that we say is culture, culture, culture. If you, have, if you have come from a foundation that that's what they do, don't be too surprised. If you are living a vagabond life and you are losing your focus. So what I'm telling you now is your ancestry and the result on your marriage. Your ancestry and the result on your marital life. Your ancestry and the result on your marital life. 18. Aggression to missionaries. Maybe your forefathers, they battled the missionaries who came to preach the gospel. Don't be too surprised. If you come from that foundation, there will be general blockage in your way now. The heavens may be closed. You may be noticing cobweb spirits. You may be noticing spiritual dust upon your life. 19. Human rituals or human sacrifice. If you've come from that foundation where they sacrifice human beings, don't be too surprised. If there is untimely death plaguing the family, don't be too surprised. If your spiritual dowry has been collected, don't be too surprised. If you find women growing old and dying as virgins in the family. 20. Adulterous parents. Your father was a womanizer. Your mother was a manizer. 
Don't be too surprised if now you are having marital instability. You are having chronic sicknesses. You are having friends who are never trustworthy. 21. Those who are cursing or maltreating Jews. If you come from that foundation, there will be general affliction every area. 22. Land grabbers. They grab land from people. So you take somebody's land and it's not belongs to you. You grab it. If your parents were doing that one, don't be too surprised. If you are noticing, noticing general backwardness now, failure and stolen partners. 23. False prophets and false religion. Your father was a prophet in the church where they say the Z visions and roll on the floor and put people under bondage. Don't be too surprised. If you are going through prophet, you too, you are going through prophetic deception now, and you are misleading, you are being misled by prophets, and you are having opposite dreams. You see your friends as enemies, you see your enemies as friends. If your parents used to do those kind of things. In 1964, there was somebody in Nigeria called Jesus of Oyibo. Jesus of Oyibo said, he is the Holy Ghost and, will not, and that he will not die. By 1984, he was dead. But to the glory of God, the wife, the daughter of that man, they are MFM members now. Listen, if you know the prayer we pray for the daughter before she could find somebody to marry, you'll be surprised because of what the father had done. And pray once again that by the time you leave this place, every marital blockage will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Twenty-four. Are you following me? When your twenty-four is when your parents are witches or wizards. There are many parents who are witches or wizards. Some of them consciously, some of them unconsciously. If your parents are witches or wizards, you will be constantly harassed by the powers of darkness that will be blocking your marriage. You will be having polluted partners. Twenty-five. If your parents are highly fetish, highly fetish, very fetish people, in fact, up to now, maybe they're even still fetish, then you find that nothing works for you. There is battle in every area of your life. You may find yourself being caught up in hypnotism. They will hypnotize you, they will use magic on you, they will use horse on you, and it will work. They can even use magic on you and sleep with you without your knowledge. 26. Madras. Madras. Your parents were murderers. You'll be pursued by blood. You'll be having violent accidents. You'll be having violent break, break up of relationships. And you can even have death of partner before wedding. 27. Sodomy. That is homosexualism, lesbianism. If you come from that kind of background, there will be marital confusion. People lose interest in you very quickly. You may have sexual confusion. You have you are a woman, you have more attraction to fellow women than men. You are a man, you have more attraction to fellow men than women. You may have that. You may even lose interest in the opposite sex altogether. If you are from that background. 28. Bad names. Check your family name. Names, bad names make people to repeat errors. There are some names you should not bear. No matter how stylish you call it, you should not bear those names because they are names that will make you to repeat errors. It will release evil pattern on the marital life of the person. Once you are bearing that evil family name, any family name that is joined to idols, you must not bear them. Any name that has to do with reincarnation, somebody dead is coming back to life, you must not bear them. 
Franchise masturbation. If you come from a foundation of masturbation, you will never be free from spirit wife and spirit husband until you get freedom from it. 30. Divorces and broken homes. If you've come from divorce place, broken homes, you will be having broken relationship, broken engagements, difficulty in keeping a home together. This is just a small tip of information from my research book to you that will propel you into the prayers you want to go and start praying now. You say, how do I deal with these powers? Yes. The first thing is new birth. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Two, you need to confess your own sins before the Lord and ask the Lord to forgive you. Three, you need to renounce those sins. Four, you need to prayerfully destroy these evil foundations. Five, you need to repair all the bad structures the enemy has left for you. And six, you need to build a new foundation by prayer. And seven, you need to barricade your life so that what happened to others will not happen to you. Are you here today? And you can see that your life is like father, like son, like mother, like daughter. Are you here today? You are having sex in the dream. You are seeing dirty wedding gown. You are marrying strange persons in the dream. You find your shoes, which represent marriage, be stolen in the dream, or you have yourself you just, just one shoe left. Are you here? You are dreaming that shaving your hair. Are you here? You, you dream about your wedding. The church was empty on that day, nobody came. Are you here? You are eating in the dream. You are seeing masquerades. Are you here? You find yourself returning to your old places. Are you here? You find yourself swimming or wearing torn or dirty wedding garments. It is telling you that you do have a war to wage against ancestral powers. I was in New York where the crusading mountain of fire and miracles mystery somewhere called Brooklyn in New York many years back a white lady came for prayers I felt sorry for her she did not know the forces she was battling she noticed her great great grandmother died of cancer of the breast her great grandmother died of cancer of the breast her grandmother died of cancer of the breast her mother died of cancer of the breast when she saw that being an intelligent lady she quickly went to a surgeon and asked the surgeon to remove her two breasts there was no disease in the breast the, the breasts were okay but she removed the two breasts and if you look at it what she did was logical they say it's cancer of the breast isn't it so if I remove the breast, the cancer will have no breast to attack. That's why she went and removed her two breasts. But when the cancer came in and couldn't find the breast, the cancer went to the liver. That's what brought her for prayers. It was from my mouth for the first time she was hearing that there are things called ancestral powers. Ancestral powers. If there is any power that returns a man from hero to zero, that brings a man from grace to grass, that power, a very powerful church somewhere in Europe was going down and the church almost became nothing until somebody who is a bus driver took over the church and in his hands the place exploded the place grew became a rich church, a big church all of a sudden midway the ancestral powers came to attack the pastor he started trying to sleep with church girls 
the guests went to report to police. They arrested him, locked him up. They jailed him. And everything went down. So it's like the enemy has taken him back to his bus driving. Which is terrible. These are things you should never allow in your destiny. Most of our ancestors did not serve the living God. They served the enemy. They made alliances. They made promises that we, you and I, don't know anything about. But they've made the promises. Finally, before we pray, there was a family. Nobody lived above 40. By the time they're getting to 39, they, are, they will have a dream. In that dream, they will see seven people carrying a coffin. Once somebody has that dream, it would, it's the next to die. So it's easy to know who will die in that family. When you say, Do, have you had the dream? Say, yes, you dream of some people carrying coffin. Ah, <laughs> we, we prepare for his burial. And at the age of 39, that's when it happens. And once it happens, the next person becomes the head of the family. The next person becomes the head of the family. They now made this man head of the family. At 39 and a half years, he had a dream. He told the wife. The wife said, ah, hey, hey. They ran to press city here. Started deliverance at 39 and a half years. It was during that deliverance we knew what happened. They had a very powerful ancestors in their family before. One powerful king. When this king was about to die, they buried seven slaves alive with him. So those seven people carrying coffin they were seen were those seven slaves of those days who issued curses that their own children too will not grow above 40. These are the powers of the ancestry. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. We are here for serious business. If it's only one prayer point we need to pray, as far as we deal with this, you will be amazed at the testimony you are going to experience. All eyes closed. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed? You say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to defeat these powers. I want to pray with you very quickly because we have plenty of prayers to pray. Wherever you are, just raise up your right hand. I want to surrender my life to Jesus today so that I too will be able to experience the power. Just raise up your right hand. You have not done so before. You want to do so today. Just just raise up your right hand. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you raising up your right hand, just run quickly to the altar here. I want to pray with you. Just come out to the altar here. I want to pray with you. Find a way quickly to the altar. Jesus is waiting for you here. If you put up your right hand just now, just where the problems are, and you want a solution, just run quickly to the altar here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, Hallelujah. oh, the blood of Jesus, it was Jesus. Right. Oh
Those of you at the altar here, close your eyes and bow down your heads. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you today. I know that you brought me here. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Let your power fall upon them. Today, they've surrendered their lives to Jesus. Let it be well with them. The Lord will continue to bless you. And your life will change completely. What took other people 10 years to achieve, you will achieve in one month. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Right there where you are, as you close your eyes, begin to talk to the Lord. A father, envelope my life. Talk to the Lord. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. You've made the most important decision in life, and I congratulate you. Look at this pastor over there. Look at that pastor over there. Just follow this pastor over there. God bless you as you do so. Follow the pastor over there. God bless you. Sir. Just follow them for one or two minutes, and you can come and join us. God bless you as you do so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is good forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forever. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. 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 You are 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 worthy to be praised, O Lord. Those of you who have surrendered your life to Jesus, go back to your seat, take part in the prayers. When we close now, just come back here so that we can pray more with you. Go back to your seats, take part in these prayers. When we close, come back to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. So so that you don't miss the prayers. Just go back to but immediately we close. Please don't go home. Just find a way to the altar here very quickly so that we can we can pray with you and give you more instructions. God bless you as you do so. You are worthy to be praised. Oh. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Alpha, Omega. You are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Alpha. Alpha. Oh, dear.
ready now note that the forces we want to deal with now they might have been in your family for thousands and thousands of years note that these same powers might have defeated your parents your parents fought them your parents did not succeed so they are now fighting you your mother fought them but they never succeeded they messed up a marriage your father fought them no matter how he struggled he still became a polygamist so you have prayers to pray with violence in your voice when i say violence i mean real violence the first prayer i want you to pray is a very dangerous prayer like this and don't negotiate with anybody and if you are here this meeting and your own parents are in charge of your case you better pray hard anytime you pray about your your marriage you see relatives disturbing you pray with violence pray like a mad prophet pray without any negotiation there must be no negotiation something has to happen today you will shout this loud and clear powers that defeated my parents and are now fighting me Jesus. 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 Bakapolika tendera bo sempia. Ribo sopola kaya bo shentera ba santa. Bapola bo kopola katarabo. Ribo soponde kaya bo shentera ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. You see what I mean? Say, ancestral marital blockage. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Tonight is tonight. Today is today. This is not a time to negotiate. Negotiation cannot be carried out. Bapola bo kopola bo shentera bo sampa. The river superiorly contained the care. Aha. Lose your hood. 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 Jesus, then we pray. Very good. Very good. But I want you to increase your aggression. Increase that aggression. <laughs> I see 21 persons. The powers that have been hiding your wedding garment. I've released them now. my 
our marriage are alive. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Bakapola yada kasapola kaya boshenta. Fire it back. Fire it back. Fire it back. Fire it back. Basaponte la kaya boshenta. Fire it back. Fire it back. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. I told you what is going to happen. Told you what's going to happen. Stretch your right hand towards me now. Father, these hands that are stretched forward here. Let his hands become the hands of fire. The hands of power. The hands of glory. The hands of the anointing. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count 21 from here. You will smite your head. Your head is a symbol of your destiny. The Bible says the strangers shall be afraid. They shall run out of their close places. When you smile that head, any agent inside of you, whether you know about it or you don't know about it, that is blocking your marriage, they will begin to jump out. Are you ready now? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are going out. They are going out. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Do it twice. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. It's happening. They must go. They must go. Be released. 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 Enough is enough. You the stubborn spirit husband. Separate. 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 Now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of your grandmother, that spirit of your grandmother inside of you, I bind it and I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Please, 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 please. Silence. If you are in this meeting now, I'm from the family in which you came. Marriages never work. Or people find it hard to do a good marriage. Come to the altar and be on your knees and pray the way you have never prayed before. Yes, be on your knees. Pray the way you've never prayed before. 
a transaction is about to take place that will change your life forever. Makate takaya boshente rabasanta. Bakari dakasente ya boshende rabasanta. Bakatenda rabosente yaba. Say powers of my father's house. Release my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Yes, you released, 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 you Put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth Thou strong man of marriage destruction. Lose your hood, 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 lose your hood. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Jesus. Amen. The sisters that are at the altar here, get yourself ready. When I count one to seven, smite your womb area. Sisters who are here, the brothers you smite their head, sisters you smite their womb area as I count seven now. Something is about to happen. A spiritual surgery is about to take place. One. Do it well. Look at what is happening now. The deposit of the spirit of is coming out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Aha. 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 Push it out. 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 Yes. Silence. I decree upon your life now that whether it is convenient for the enemy or not whether household wickedness like it or not whether the devil likes it or not possess your marital breakthrough possess it 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 let your amen be loud aha any power that says you will not marry any power that says you will not enjoy your marriage I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Let them die. 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 Let them 
die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. In the name of Jesus. Those of you at the altar here, begin to shake your head now. Shake it vigorously. As we shake it, every agent of darkness that is threatening your marital life, you'll be shaking off. Shake it off, shake it off. Shake it off. That's the fire, that's the fire. That's the fire. Just tonight, enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Amen. Stretch your right hand towards me again, everybody. Father, let his hands receive the blood of Jesus. Let his hands. Receive the touch of the power of God. Let his hands receive the breakthrough power of Jehovah. Let his hands wipe away every evil mark. Now begin to use that hand to wipe your face until I ask you to stop. Just wipe your face as if you are wiping away sweat from your body. Wipe it. Your hand. Use it to wipe your face. Aha. Your face. Aha. Look. Look at the fire. Look at the fire. Look at the fire. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Perfect silence. Yes. Anyone here, Lord, whose mother is into witchcraft and she has donated your marriage, right there where you are receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus Anyone here who has been unconsciously married in the spirit realm and they have collected your dowry in the spirit realm, receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm now going to count seven from here. When I count that seven, Anyone here who has spirit husband or spirit wife, the spirit shall separate from your life. Amen. And and their wedding rings shall catch fire.
silence one two three four five six seven Yes. Be released. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. The hand of God has done wonders in your life today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is power, power, one that walk in power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, one that walk in power in the precious blood. Of there is power, there is power, power, one that walk in power. In the blood of the land, of the land, there is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the land. There is power, there is power, 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 power wonder walking power in the blood. leg on your chair and lay one hand on that leg your shoes represent your marriage so lay one hand on your leg put that leg on the chair lay one hand on that leg lay your hands on your leg one leg either the right or the left anyone just lay your hands on it thank you jesus Say anti marriage serpents and scorpions get out of my leg. Can you say that and let me hear you? Say it again. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray like that. Something is happening already. Aha, aha. That's the fire, that's the fire, that's the fire. You are going to smite that leg seven times. One. Two. Three. Look at what is happening over there. Yes. Four. Five. Six, seven. (laughs) 
Yes. Now do the other leg. The other leg now. Lay your hands on it too. Powers. Attacking my marriage shoes. Can you shout it loud? Die! In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, name we pray. Cut us off right again. Seven times you need to smite that leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That leg is on fire. That leg is on fire. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, hold your right shoe or slippers or whatever in your hand. The right one. Aha. Shoes in the spirit realm represents marriage hold it in your hand say this after me say, my father I use this shoe as a point of contact for my marriage any power working against my marital breakthrough is dead now in the name of Jesus let your fire fall upon my spiritual shoes in the name of Jesus any power that has stolen my marital shoes return them now by fire return them return them Return them. Return them. Return them. Return them. Return them by fire in the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. I use this shoe as a point of contact for my marriage. Oh God of the sudden lace, arise, arise, arise with that shoe in your hand quietly. Tell the Lord when you want your marriage to be. Quietly tell the Lord when you want your marriage to be. Amen. Now, with that shoe still in your hand, you need to pray this prophetic prayer. Please, 
This is one of the most serious prayers we are praying here today. And don't joke with it. And central powers. <laughs> stealing my wedding garment and shoes. <laughs> Can you shout it loud? <laughs> Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. 